Geneva, a cradle of human rights. Along its lakefront, press freedom is celebrated with political cartoons, and no subject is off limits. This showcase is for Cartooning for Peace, an international foundation of press cartoonists who came together 10 years ago with the help of former UN Secretary General Kofi Annan. Cartooning for Peace will celebrate the, its 10th anniversary this year. As its honorary chairman, I am proud of all the good work it has done. The foundation has been a staunch defender of principles close to my heart, such as freedom, pluralism and humour. Defending the role of political humour worldwide are Liza Donnelly of the US magazine The New Yorker and Cartoonist for Peace co-founder, French caricaturist Plantu. Avec Kofi Annan, on a créé il y a juste 10 ans, on fête les 10 ans de, de Cartooning for Peace, on a fêté la, la création de Cartooning for Peace où on a mélangé des dessinateurs musulmans, chrétiens, juifs, agnostiques, athées, pour pouvoir faire des ponts là où d'autres essayent de faire des fractures. With cartoons, you get to see what's going on very specifically and on the ground. So it's, cartoons are a great way to communicate issues that we may not get in the headline news. Plantu and Donnelly were part of the jury that awarded the 2016 International Cartoons Prize in Geneva to two cartoonists who have both made headlines themselves for lampooning governments and their leaders. Speaking about his politically motivated drawings with Swiss cartoonist Gérald Herman at the Tribune de Genève newspaper is Malaysian cartoonist Zuna. Zuna faces nine charges under his country's Sedition Act and could see up to 43 years in prison. So far, the government banned seven of my cartoon books and they also uh, raided the printers. Three of my printers who print my book been raided by the police by, and then they have been given the strong warning that their whole business license will be revoked if they print my book in the future. The professional future of Kenyan political cartoonist Gado is also uncertain, after some of his drawings caused a stir in East Africa. Gado maintains that political cartoons have a duty to challenge the status quo, perhaps more so than other forms of expression. Cartoons have a license to go a step further. They have a license to push the envelope. They have a license to ask the difficult questions. They have a license to, to provoke. And, and, and in doing so, you end up offending people. United Nations member states, which reflect a variety of cultures and political systems, do not all share the same view of how far press freedom should be allowed to go. But the UN as an organization is called upon to uphold freedom of expression as a fundamental human right for all people everywhere. As for the Cartooning for Peace Foundation, it hopes that this award given in Geneva will defend freedom of expression worldwide and help shield these award winners from prosecution at home. I will continue to fight because talent is not a gift but a responsibility. It is duty for me as a cartoonist to use the art as a weapon. I will continue to fight through cartoons. I will keep fighting until the last drop of my ink. Thank you again for this award. This report was produced by Sandra Miller for the United Nations.